In this Bendix technical video, we look at how vehicle braking systems work. Modern hydraulic braking systems consist of 10 main components. The brake pedal, the push rod, the brake booster, the main cylinder, the brake fluid reservoir, the ABS module, brake hard lines and hoses, brake calipers, disc brake pads, and disc brake rotors. If the vehicle is fitted with drum brakes, this also includes wheel cylinders, brake drums, and brake shoes. Your vehicle's hydraulic braking system is activated the moment the brake pedal is pressed. This force then travels through a push rod into the brake booster and master cylinder. Most brake boosters use vacuum from the engine to make applying the brakes easier by increasing the force exerted on the brake pedal. When the brakes are applied, the push rod opens the air valve within the brake booster to allow air to enter the rear-facing side of the diaphragm within the booster, increasing pressure on that side. This forces the push rod even further into the piston within the master cylinder. The brake fluid within the reservoir is compressed by this movement, converting the mechanical pressure from the brake pedal into hydraulic force. The now pressurized brake fluid is then forced through the master cylinder outlet ports and through the brake lines to each wheel. Along the way, the brake fluid passes through the ABS module, which regulates pressure to prevent the wheels from locking up under slippery conditions or hard braking. At each wheel, the brake fluid actuates the brake calipers. Brake fluid is fed to the caliper through a banjo fitting, driving the caliper's piston towards the inside brake pad. The caliper then moves along the slide pins to squeeze the pads against the rotor. This creates friction that converts the car's kinetic energy into heat, slowing the wheels and bringing your vehicle to a stop. On vehicles equipped with drum brakes, the brake fluid actuates a wheel cylinder that pushes the brake shoes against the inner surface of the brake drum to create the same effect. When the brake pedal is released, the push rod connected to the brake booster and the master cylinder retracts, allowing the piston inside the master cylinder to return to its resting position. This reduces hydraulic pressure within the brake lines, which in turn retracts the caliper pistons or wheel cylinders, pulling the brake pads away from the rotor or the brake shoes away from the brake drum. From there, the wheels are able to spin freely. We hope this video has given you good insight into the inner workings of your vehicle's braking system. Bendix. Put your foot down with confidence.